We're in Tamaki Makoto and today we're taking you behind the scenes of one of our favourite cake shops. Not just any cake, think cakes inspired by Asia. So matcha, pandan, coconut, folds patisserie. Let's go and meet the team. Hi Jason. Good things, how are you? Look at this cabinet. The cakes are works of art. And now a lot of these ingredients might be unfamiliar to some of you, but we'll go through, we'll explain everything as we go. Just know that they're delicious. Seriously good lineup of cakes and a really neat lineup of drinks. Uh, Tetarek, uh, ube and taro, matcha, we've got chindol here. Again, all things we'll, we're gonna work through. We're gonna get a bunch of stuff, eat a bunch of cakes, go for a bit of a sugar high. This is Wendy Lau, the mastermind behind Folds Patisserie, which she owns together with her partner, Jason Shaw, who runs Front of House. I always wanted to somehow bring back Malaysian, Southeast Asian food to New Zealand. I think you couldn't really find that in um, New Zealand, so it was quite hard. Yeah. Um, and growing up with like baking and stuff, always with our parents and my sister, I always felt like this was something I wanted to bring to New Zealand to share with others. Taro and pistachio cheesecake. It's so pretty. Let's go the matcha. We've got a whole range to try. The ube and pistachio cheesecake, the classic, the one that never leaves the menu, the pandan lamington, a pina colada shoe, a matcha and yuzu ghetto, and the te tarek Swiss roll. So Wendy is Le Cordon Bleu trained, and so you can see that coming out in the cake. So many different style of cakes, the gateau, the choux, the cheesecake, the lamington, the Swiss roll. Pandan's the one thing that I don't think you could find here. Pandan is often described as the vanilla of the East. It's a beautiful um, green plant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what makes these buns green. Mm. Mm-hmm. So we try and put all the pandan inside. <laughs> I'm diving into my favourite, which is the Pandan Lamington. So Pandan, vanilla of the East, it's really fragrant. There's, uh, so Pandan sponge, there's coconut jelly, toasted coconut um, on top of it. Mm. It's utterly delicious. Melts in your mouth. The jelly is creamy, a little bit bouncy but smooth and that sponge is soft and light as air. I'm absolutely addicted to the flavours. We've ordered giant ones in the past. It is just utterly delicious. How did you get into baking? I know that you studied, was it maths and art at uni? Yeah. <laughs> and now you're a baker? So initially I was actually going to study architecture. Because you know your Asian parents and they're like, you need something more stable. <laughs> uh, and I didn't know what to do. I had no idea. Um, my sister did accounting, my little brother does business, and I'm the only one who's like not in that same field. So I studied architecture for two years and I, it, it didn't work. <laughs> I think a bite of this taro and pistachio cheesecake next. Sort of a biscuity base, the uh, cheesecake filling, which is that purple. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm not usually a cheesecake fan, but that has converted me. It's not overly heavy and and rich, it's still light, it's got loads of flavor. That taro is delicious, it's beautiful. Oh, and I really love that heavier biscuity base. That's yum. What I really enjoy here with these cakes is their specialty, they're different, but that's not where the cool bit stops. They taste amazing too. So it's not all about the way they look and making them pretty they actually taste incredible. They're so fun to eat. This is the Tetarek Swiss roll. Tetarek is Malaysian 
pulled tea. It's a sweet milk tea and they pull it by, uh, or they stretch it, pull it by um, sloshing it from one jug to another. And Thomas has actually got a tetarek here. You can see the foamy top. It's delicious. So they've got a load of different um, specialty drinks on their menu as well, not just coffee and, and uh, tea. They've got the tetarek, they've got chendo, they've got all sorts of things. So those are worth drinking as well. Mm. Mm. That sponge is just light as air. And you've got that, just that tea flavor, that beautiful, sweet, milky tea flavor in that cream. Yeah, so whenever people eat the food, it's like looking at the reaction and seeing whether they feel what we felt when we were creating it, I suppose. And then you see some of the reactions, especially the older generation who come here. And it does remind them of the nostalgic like memories of what it was like when they lived in Malaysia or whenever they go home mm. and they got all those flavors. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> I agree. agree. <laughs> Matcha in yuzu ghetto. So matcha is green tea, yuzu is a citrus fruit. Look at the layers on this thing. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. That is wonderful. It's almost savory because of the, the bitterness of the green tea and it balances beautifully with the slight tanginess from the yuzu. That is stunning, light as air. And again, it's, it's not just beautiful to look at, it's damn delicious. Wow, wow, wow. What a place with amazing food. Get here now, try these cakes. Look at these two, absolute stars. Wendy and Jason, <laughs> this place is good. If you've enjoyed it, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, drop us a comment, and come and eat these incredible cakes. Thanks guys. <laughs>